Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Pay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and you may be asking yourself what do butternuts have to do with Booktubeathon? Well, I am going to tell you. This is going to be my Booktubeathon TBR. Now, I'm sure most all of you know what Booktubeathon is. It is like the biggest readathon in all of Booktube world. It is uh, hosted and created by Ariel Bissett. And of course, I will link everything down below. And she has come up with some amazingly creative challenges again this year. And so, of course, I am going to participate. I believe this is my fourth year in a row to participate in Booktubeathon. So here we go. So the first challenge is to let a coin decide your first read. So this is where the butternuts come in. I looked up butternut and I discovered that a butternut is actually a type of walnut that comes from a butternut tree. But most often when I think of butternut, I think of butternut squash, which I have purchased just for this occasion because I have two different book series with the word butternut in the title and I'm going to let a coin flip decide which of these series I start first. Now the first series which will be heads on my coin is the Butternut Lake series by Mary McNear. The first book is Up at Butternut Lake. The second one is Butternut Summer. There's actually a 2.5 novella that is a Christmas themed novella. I couldn't get a hold of it in print. Then book three is Moonlight on Butternut Lake. And as I said before, these are by Mary McNear. There are currently 5.5 books in this series with a sixth book coming out in uh, the fall of this year. But for now, I have checked these books out from the Bookmobile in my county and they are available on audio on Hoopla. So I am excited to start these. The other Butternut series I actually own, it's the Butternut Creek series by Jane Masters Perrine or Perrin. The first one is The Welcome Committee of Butternut Creek. The second book is The Matchmakers of Butternut Creek. Look at these awesome covers. And the third one is The Wedding Planners of Butternut Creek. There are only three in this series currently and I don't know if there's plans to be any more at this point or not. So I'm going to let Butternut Creek be tails and I'm going to flip this coin. Here we go. And it's heads. Yay. I'm kind of glad that it's heads because a couple of weeks ago I checked this out on audio from Hoopla and it's going to expire I think on August 1st and I didn't want to have to recheck it. <laughs> so I'm excited that I'll be able to read this, listen to this first before um, it expires. All right, so the next challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do. Well, if any of you saw my part four of my Great Book Purge, I have started a TBR jar of some mostly non-fiction books that I think I could read and get rid of. So one of those books actually is about something that I am perpetually wanting to do, and that is organize my house. So I am going to read the Everything Organize Your Home book. This is by Jason Rich and it's, uh, it's got some illustrations and it looks like fun. I actually started this a long time ago for another readathon. It might have even been Booktubeathon two or three years ago and I didn't get very far. So this year I am gonna get it read. The next challenge is to read and watch a uh, book to movie adaptation. And I, am, I have picked a book that I've actually already read, but I really want to see the movie. And I didn't want to reread the book, so I have the graphic novel. I'm going to read the graphic novel and I'm going to watch the movie, and that is A Wrinkle in Time. Uh, I've read the book at least three times, so uh, I'm excited to uh, read the graphic novel, which I've never read. And this is by um, Hope Larson. And here it is. I, I don't have a copy of the movie yet. I might purchase it or I might try to find it in a red box or something. I have it on hold at the library, but I'm like 68th in line. So I don't think I'm going to be getting that copy in time for Booktubeathon. I actually have a couple of choices for the next challenge, and that is to read a book with green on the cover. I've been doing the Summer Romance Book Bingo, and so this is a book that I have really been wanting to read for that. It's called Honey Grove by Janelle Dellen, and uh, it's got green grass on the cover. So this is very likely something that I will read. I have this checked out from the library. 
And the second book that I'm very interested in reading very soon is the next in the Thrush Green series by Miss Reed, News from Thrush Green. This uh, older copy is kind of faded, but there's green grass on the cover, there's green trees, and of course there's green, the word green, in the title, so uh, this would be a very appropriate choice. It's maybe a little bit shorter than the other book. But sometimes these books go very slow, and so the other book might actually be a faster read. So I'm not sure which one I will choose for book to be fun. The next challenge is to read a book while wearing a hat. I uh, chose a hat that I got for my husband for his birthday. It says, I'm not old, I'm vintage, and uh, I'm going to wear that while reading my shortest book. Now, this is actually not a book that I chose or picked out. My husband picked this book out for the Summer Bingo Challenge at our library because one of the challenges is to read a graphic novel. And I took a look at it and saw that it was super short. It has very little text. And I thought, you know, if nothing else, this would make a good seventh book, you know, because it's short. And if I'm having a hard time fitting in seven books, then this would be a good choice. And since I might actually forget to put my hat on to read a book I thought it might be good to pick a book for this challenge that I could read in one sitting so this is Beowulf by Gareth Hines and uh, I remember vaguely reading a little bit of Beowulf when I was in high school I don't remember anything about it uh, and this is a graphic novel so um, my husband had checked out and I decided that I would go ahead and read it while we had it the next challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine. Now, I could go ahead and pick Honey Grove for that because you can't really tell because this spine's a little bit worn, but the spine is just kind of a small sampling of the cover, which is very beautiful. But I went to my own shelves and I found what I think is the most beautiful spine on my shelves, and it is the uh, Vintage Teacup Club by Vanessa Green also has green on the cover and has green on the cover so this would really work for um, more than one challenge but the spine has the um, collection of teacups on the spine and it's just beautiful I love dishes I love porcelain china so uh, this book caught my eye I got it at a book sale a long time ago and I'm hoping that there might be enough romance in here that it will count for my summer romance book bingo as well so that book would meet several challenges and then the other challenge is to read seven books so I'm pretty sure I've shown you seven books I also have two or three other books out here I'm finishing up the Sunshine State books I have three left to read uh, one of them is the Eureka Key it is I believe the series is called Secrets of the Seven by Sarah L. Thompson um, if I don't get to this one, I just started one, and I might not get very far in it before Booktubeathon starts. So, if that's the case, then I'll just read it during Booktubeathon. And then because very few of these are available to me on audio, um, I might possibly go ahead and listen to the next Flavia DeLuce book. Uh, I haven't checked out from the library right now, but I've loaned it out to one of our book club members. And the second book is called The Weed That Strings the Hangman's Bag, a Flavia DeLuce mystery. This could also count for something that I want to do because it's about a puppeteer. Although I don't want to be a puppeteer, I already am a puppeteer, but I, I always want to be a better puppeteer. So I could finagle that around in my head and make that one work uh, if I didn't get my home organizing book read. So um, so that might work too. So that about covers it for the Booktubeathon challenges. I will make an attempt to do as many of the Booktubeathon videos as I can, the video challenges, and if there's Instagram challenges, then uh, I'll try to do those as well. So that's it for this video. That's my Booktubeathon TBR. Let me know what you're reading for Booktubeathon, and uh, let me know if it involves butternuts. So uh, that's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book, and God bless you.